Okay. We're at a home life office. We have several people listening in uh, through the internet at home, and then we have several people in the office. So all together, we might have 15 looking towards 20 people, 10 at home, 10 at the office, broadcasting live on the internet from home life office in Markham, Ontario. And they're conducting a seminar, which is about making money using the powers of the internet for real estate. And we're going to demonstrate several things that can help you, everyone in real estate, make money using the powers of the internet and when we get through today you should see why it becomes absolutely inevitable that every single person should be triggering leads using the internet and we hope to show you that today very nicely this is all based on being on the internet for 20 years I stopped selling real estate 20 years ago I started in 1973 selling real estate about one end a week for my whole career in real estate and then in 1994, we dedicated this business to the industry to help all the real estate brokers and salespeople make money. And that's what we do to this day. So I maintain a real estate license, and I'll tell you a little bit more about myself. I'm going to formally introduce myself in a moment so you can see who I am. <clears throat> okay. Now, how to work real estate having one information. If somebody says to you, I'd like to sell my property, but I don't want to give you a listing, but I will pay you a commission. Has anybody ever said that to you? How many in the room has ever said that to you? Okay, everyone? Okay, I'm going to show you how to handle that beautifully for the first time. And lots of other opportunities with builders, all kinds of things. And a lot of people, sometimes they don't want their business being put on the Internet. It could be bad for business. There's lots of things not on the Toronto Real Estate Board, but you as licensed real estate people can work this kind of information if you do it in a competent, professional manner. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is going to give you extra opportunities to make money that you cannot do on the Real Estate Board. The nice thing about it is you can do both. If you can get a site listing, you put it on the board. Methods to help you get listings that you can sell and helps you to obtain listings. Sometimes if you give the for sale by owner a little bit of service and you show them that you're working hard and you show it a couple of times, sooner or later, they're going to give the listing to somebody. We know it because according to the National Association of Realtors, 90% of all the FISBOs, they get sold by licensed real estate people like yourself. Okay? So um, we're going to show you how to get those listings for yourself in this area too against all of the competition. We're going to show you how to search exclusive listings and how to search out buyers so you can have instant showings. If you have a showing today, you have a chance to make money today. If you don't have a showing today, you make zero. And then, how many people in this room have a website? One, how many people do not have a website? Okay, we're going to show you now how if you have a website, how we have special links that go onto your website. Now, we know that all real estate people have the MLS on their website. And for the people here that don't have a website, there's a way to have a website for $16.56. Okay? And we're going to show you how to have that today. We actually have the busiest booth, one of the busiest booths at RealtorQuest. Did anybody here go to RealtorQuest? How many? No one? I'm recommending that everyone go to Realtor Quest every year. And the reason is, it's the largest trade show of its kind in the world, the Toronto Real Estate Board. The largest real estate show in the world. Okay, there's only one or two other shows as big as the one in Toronto. The one in uh, Orlando from the National Association of Realtors is a little larger. Nowhere can you see so many products and services in one day as you can as going to the Congress Center and going to that show and it's paid for by you you can get in free now other Korea members who are not members of Treb they have to pay fifty dollars for lunch and all that stuff but all that's included free for Treb members at least it was this year I don't know what they're doing next year anyways we had a booth there and our booth was one of the busiest at the show and one of the reasons is is that we made a statement at that show that you could have a thirty thousand dollar website and it's not as powerful as the websites that I'm going to show you tonight 
for $16.50. And it has to do with the listings. It's not how beautiful a website is that triggers leads. I suggest as a broker that it's the listings. If they can search one network of listings, another network of listings, and another network, that's three networks of listings, not just TREP, all these other exclusive listings in the marketplace, sooner or later, they're going to be interested in one of the listings. Now, if they're interested in one of the MLS listings, one of the little problems is, is that they can see the address. And I have a question for all of you. The people that have the MLS listings on their website, is it possible that maybe somebody sees the address and maybe they don't call you, but they drive by the property first? I get a lot of hits uh, agreeing here in the room. And if they see the address, is it possible they drive by the property and then they see the for sale sign on the front of the property from the other broker? And then they call the other broker and they end up doing a deal and it all started from your website. Does that real estate broker even call you back to say thank you? <laughs> Not likely, right? Mind you, if he knew it, he might probably thank you because there's a lot of good people in this business. But the point is, is that you're not absolutely guaranteed to get those calls. Tonight, we're going to show you something special called widgets. And if you look at the very, very back of the room, there's something there that says power up your website with widgets, trigger calls. We're going to demonstrate these widgets to you that you can have on your website. Where, now, what company are you with, the website companies? With Incom or like who, which companies are you using? With the agent locator. Agent locator? How, who else? Anybody else using anything different? Website, website box. Website box is another one? Okay. All of these companies, ICI World, we work with over 30 website companies, all of them. What we do is we send these links, special links, to your company and they install them on your website for you so that you can have the listings that you're looking on your phones right now all of those listings that you can see on your phones on your mobile phones those listings can be on your website and there's something special about it and what it is is nobody can click on the message number nobody can see the other broker nobody can see the address Nobody can see the phone number except one phone number, and that's yours. So in other words, all the listings are going to be like classified ads in a newspaper, but they're going to be on your website. So if people see a listing, they're going to call you up and say, I'm interested in this listing in Scarborough uh, for 650000 Can you help me? Now, you have two choices when you get these calls, and because you are licensed in the province of Ontario, we supply all the listings on our service in the province of Ontario. So you can get calls on any property in Ontario. They call you up and say, can you help me? And what you're going to say is, yes, I can help you. I will have someone call you back. And then you're going to get a hold of the broker who's got that listing. We'll show you how. Don't worry about that. And say, I have a lead for you is a 25% referral fee okay with you? That's a five minute phone call. That's what it's averaging and it's averaging three to $10,000. Now we have one broker, a Remax agent, who has done 15, that's the best one that I personally know of from the service, what they've done, 15 referrals. That's a total of 75 minutes of his time <laughs> and he made over $45,000. It's 3,000 per referral because he's in a smaller community in Peterborough. So that's the kind of thing that you can do with these uh, widgets. Now, I have a question for you. If you have this kind of information on your website, and if you're not getting calls, is it because of the widgets, or is it because you have little or no traffic to your website? Which one is it? Traffic. 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 Everyone agree? You've got to get people coming to your website. So we have a special program that we think is so important for real estate brokers to learn. Every single month, the way I'm broadcasting right now live, we broadcast once a month how to promote your website. 
you are all invited to partake in it and to learn about it. Okay? You just go to iciworld.com and you can click on it. Now, one thing I should have handed out is some note paper to take notes. Maybe you can hand out some of these. This is like an internet worksheet. I forgot to hand it out. You could take notes on it. Can you hand out that to everyone, maybe? So that everyone gets a copy. There we go. So at home, you can also be taking notes as you go along. This uh, seminar is being recorded. All of our seminars are still pertinent and effective to this day. When you go to our ICI World educational YouTube channel, you'll be able to see recordings of different seminars. They are still effective and productive to this day. Everybody got a copy? No. Okay. Uh, all right. Here's, here we go. We've got extra copies. Oh, yeah. There they are there. Okay. And you can just take notes there. So one of the things you should write down on here is iciworld.com. You should write that down and click on something special called four members. Everyone at home, you can take notes. You go to iciworld.com and then you click on four members and you can register for two webinars there that are come up monthly. The one of them is how to promote your website. The other one is similar to what I'm doing today, a little bit different, mastering the powers of the internet and how to work exclusive information because there's a lot of information that I'm going to be coming your way tonight. And some of it, it's going to be right over your head. It's going to be too much to assemble. Don't forget, I've been on the internet for 20 years, and I'm trying to talk in less than 120 minutes, 20 years of working on the internet, into a little 120 minutes right here tonight. So we're recording it. We're doing everything we can to capture it so that if you want to, you can go study it at a later time. ICIWorld.com, click on four members, ICI World YouTube educational channel. Believe me, we can write a book on everything we're doing to make this network kind of build. Okay, let's move on. Now, we talk about websites. Yes, websites are one of the most powerful tools, and a lot of your customers, they want you to have a good website. They want to be marketed on the Internet. They want to have the widest exposure to get the most money, highest price and terms for their property. Stands to reason. So if you don't have a website, they wonder, MLS is good. Everybody likes it, no question about it. But that's not the only way that people are doing deals. That's the most important. If you can do it, you should do it. But it's not the only way. That's why people are doing open houses. That's why people advertise in newspapers and magazines. You never know. And then on the Internet, that's important because you have people from 138 countries of the world that are visiting ICI World alone, just our own website, every single month. The population of Canada would be going down if it wasn't for immigration. Yeah. So there's people coming in from all over the world. And because we've been on the Internet for 20 years, we have over 18,000 pages all over the world. People are finding our information here in Canada and all over the world, and they're making connection with the brokers that are on the service. And so we have people, for instance, I'll never forget it, one time happened to be in eastern Ontario, and it was a $5 million property. He could not get one person in Toronto to show that property. Couldn't get it. They ended up selling a $5 million property to people from another country. <laughs> so you can be bringing in new people locally here, and the majority of people like to come to Toronto. It seems like between the Don Valley and Ossington, everybody wants to come in this area. And, of course, Markham is one of the best areas of the world in which to come. You've got a lot of things happening in this area, and computer technology and all that kind of stuff. You have a website here in Markham, I forget the name, markham.on.ca or something, markham.com, I'm not sure. You should include that link in your listings when you put it on the Internet because it helps to sell Markham to the world. I'll try to cover that if we have enough time and if you can remind me of it a little later on. Okay, mobile websites, people, this is the new marketing plan. We have a special blog and I'm going to show you what this blog talks to you about and what it has to do with is websites. If you have a website, let's pretend this is your website. Now I'm showing in the room here, you know something, I think I might even be able to demonstrate it. Yes, I think I can do it fairly quickly. Hang on. 
I'm going to actually bring up my phone. Let's see if we can do it real quick. I'm going to give it a shot. Here we go. Six. Yes. Let's see if it does it. Come on. Okay. All right. Now, I think I'm going to switch the phone to, I mean, switch the computer to, uh oh let me stop the sound. Hang on. I'll fix it in a minute. Sorry, people. There we go. Okay. I'm going to switch the computer over to me. Mobile. There it is there. I'm going to switch it over to the mobile phone. This is the first time I'm actually doing this in a presentation, so I'm going to get a, a note here. They're connected to the internet. Hang on. Start sharing. There we go. Okay. Showing my screen. Can you see my screen up there? Yeah. You're seeing my phone. <laughs> Broadcasting on the internet, recorded live, in person, home life. Okay. Top, uh, top star. Here we go. I'm going to move over here. I have some sample websites. I'm just going to pick this one because it's familiar. I wanted you to see this sample website. And if you notice, it fits the screen perfectly. Okay? Fits the screen perfectly. And then up at the top right, and I'm going to point it out for a reason. This is called, we call it a little hamburger right there. Why is that off the screen? Okay, I'll, I'll just leave it. We'll keep going. You get the pick. You get the point. Okay, so that's called a little hamburger, and I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and you can see choices coming up. One second. Is that okay? All right. So you see choices coming up, residential and commercial. Now, when I click on residential, I'm going to show you that there's MLS. You can search the MLS. That's good, actually. Does that help? Oh, yeah. That's really good. In fact, I'm even going to reduce this other screen over there. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, so these some of these things are happening for the first time that I'm doing. It's really kind of neat. I'm always playing with technology, you know, to see what happens. But look at how, isn't that nice, the way people can search your website? So the gentlemen in here and ladies that don't have a website, it's, six, it's free for one month. And then after one month, it's $1.99 for the year. If you divide it by 12, it's $16.50. Okay? Or you can keep it for $19 a month. This website. Mobile and a full website. Both. And if it's only $16, why not have two websites? If they're all generating leads for you, why not? Now, there's some advantages to this one, and people say, I, I'm not the person that's going to come in here and say, get rid of your other website. I'm suggesting from a broker's point of view, you keep all of your websites. You don't let them go. They're like billboards. If you have one billboard on one street, if you're going to get a billboard someplace else, but you can have the other one, why cancel that one? Why not keep them both? If you're making money. If you're not making money, you got to learn how to get traffic to some of your websites, okay? And I'm going to be teaching you that. It's part of a marketing strategy. Let's pretend that every single one of the people that you know in your sphere of influence, which could be one, two, three, four hundred people. I mean, you just look at the last wedding that you went to. How many people were at the wedding? Just throw me out a number. How many? 500. You had 500? 350. 350. 500. 500. 350. 400. 400. Wow, all big families. Wonderful. I call that your sphere of influence. When you go there, you're friendly with everybody. Now, can you imagine if every single person at that wedding had your mobile website on their phone? And whenever they think about real estate, they bring up your website. Hang on. Let's open it up. Go here. And look at what they can start doing. They can choose other networks, not just the Toronto Real Estate Board. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this other network. It's coming up. And you're going to see beautiful homes start to come up. Okay? Now, if I was to click on one of these, let's find one that's going to be... They're all nice, every one of them. 
but I don't know, I'll just click on, see what that one is. Click on it. And so they can search your phone. Your information is going to be there, right underneath the picture. So if they're interested in that property, because other brokers have agreed to allow their listings to be on your website, if they see that listing, what they're going to do, they're going to start looking at this listing. You tell me if this isn't the ultimate in marketing on the Internet. Is that fantastic or what? Let's go try to do it that way. Oops. I don't like that picture. I like when they were bigger. Okay. Maybe you can, I'm going to go back this way. Anyways, you can play with it. And uh, some of your customers know how to do it better than we do. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. So if you could have this, how much is this website? $16.50. Think about it. <laughs> It's crazy, I think, as a broker, not to have one. So if you have this website and all your customers have it, even when they're talking to their friends and relatives, they can pull out their phone, bring up your website on their phone, and the phones are being used seven times more than a computer. Everyone agree? Everybody's using the phones more. So they're going to be on this more than they are on a computer. This also works on a computer. As, as a matter of fact, uh, <clears throat> let's see what it looks like on a computer. I'll just bring that up right there and click on that. That's the same website <clears throat> being brought up on a computer. Okay? Now, there's a thousand different designs, people. A thousand different designs. You can put pictures of yourself on there. Our logos, you can do it all. So it's HTML, you can do anything you want. So don't think that it's being restrictive. The advantage that I'm here to point out is really these links that are up at the top here, residential and commercial. If you have these listings, MLS, and then you have these GTA homes, you will also have these residential exclusive listings like this. And we're in Markham. Somebody could click on Markham and maybe they're interested in one of these listings. Look at this, coming for sale. That's the kind of stuff that you will have on your website, exclusive opportunities that are not on the Toronto Real Estate Board. In the case of residential, 50% of the information on ICI World is exclusive of the residential information, and there's more and more residential exclusive information coming aboard. In the commercial, it's uh, more like about 75%. What else can you see? Now, I know a lot of people here are, uh, wait a minute. Let's go back here. Hang on one second. Just, uh, so you can see it a little more clearly. Oh, it's not moving over. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I'm going to put that in the middle. Now watch this. I'm going to go back to the top. And I know a lot of you are doing residential. But I'll have a quick question. How many people here want to do some commercial? How many? Every hand in the room went up. And I uh, hope every hand at home went up as well. <laughs> okay, watch what can happen if you have it. It's just a choice. I'm going to click on Ontario Commercial. And I'm going to go up the page and look how nicely formatted all this information is to come up on the screen. So when people can look on the screen. And if they want, they can search by city. They can pick any city they want. In fact, why don't we just go to Markham just for fun, click on it, and then do a search. Look at how nice that looks. People cannot click on those numbers. They can't do it. So if this is your website... Who do they have to call? Huh? Have to call me. Give me a high five. <laughs> Who do they have to call? High five. Who do they have to call? <laughs> you bet. Who do they have to call? <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> okay. Good for everyone. Okay? You get the idea? That's never been done before. Okay? This is exciting. Your job is to get people to go see this stuff. That's a separate session. 
can't do it tonight. I only got 120 minutes here. And it's going to be information overload for everybody. I know this. It takes a year to really start to really get a good handle on it. Question so, at the back. Go ahead. So for the residential exclusive listing, right? How often is updated? Like, you know, is it updated? Like, These right listings right? here are all active. We used to have inactive, expireds, and solds showing on websites. And we had some complaints that a lot of the information was old. So we switched it. You can have strictly active listings here now, strictly active. There's something else that we do with the mobile websites. We now give you a choice to select how far back you wish to search. The default is now, in fact, let me show you right away, because that's a really good question you brought up, and a lot of the industry doesn't know it. I go to ICI World, and I'm going to go search. And watch this. There's a special button that says Have Want Age. People don't know about that. This is why I'm here to teach you. I want you to be the leaders in the business about information, how to take all that information in the Internet, information that is old even on ICI World, but really, if you only want to see the listings that are less than three months old, that's the default setting. If you want it less than one month old, you can do it. Now, if I was to sort them by price, there it is. There's a number that comes up at the top. Can anybody see that number? It says 911. So there's 911 haves and wants that are less than 90 days old. Got it? Okay. So the answer to your question is, we actually do not delete listings for five years. I see I will. Uh, because in commercial real estate, if you can't find, say, maybe a shopping center, a certain size, maybe in Markham even, you might contact some of the past brokers who had one and contact them because maybe they're connected with people that have other ones. And maybe that shopping center, by the way, is still there that was on our service. It's still there today. Is it possible that the circumstances, of course, change? But the people are still there, hopefully, and the properties are still there. If you call him, he might have another plaza that's maybe available. Or maybe that plaza comes back for sale again. In other words, the older listings are used for networking purposes. And people on our service, all, the, all, the, all of those people that I showed you in the testimonials there, they search the older listings from time to time because they can dig up a contact who they might be able to do business with. However, if you don't want to look at them, you don't have to. You just can choose the have one age, and if you only want the listings less than a month old, especially residential, you, you just go ahead and search those, and there's 400 that are less than 90 days old. Okay? Exclusive. Okay, so that shows you some of the things that can be done with websites and how people can be triggering leads. This is an example of the app. People that have an iPhone and an Android, you can actually go to the app store and you can download the app. And you'll see at the bottom it says commercial and residential. And you can click on it and it's just a matter of a second or two and bingo, it can come right up. In fact, I'll click on residential and it comes up. And again, I can just go down to the bottom and search the database. And there it is, Mississauga Home, Wanted Mississauga. And you can search by city. You can zero on price ranges. You can do all of that. But I don't want to take up the time now to do that. My main thing is get you the tools, and then you can start playing with it on your own phone. Okay, let's move off of mobile websites. So that becomes a marketing strategy for everyone in real estate to try to get their website onto the mobile phones of everyone. Now I gotta try to switch back to here. Here we go. I go back to and there's a few more people came in, so that's pretty good. All right. Next. We've already talked about this. All the people that haven't seen it up till now, you should go to ICIWorld.mobi, make it a shortcut on your screen, and then secondly, add the app to your phone as well and tell us which one you kind of like. Now, this seminar, we've been putting it on for many years, and it's consistent. It's steady. It works. We've seen so many successes with it. We know that if it's successful, the ones that are doing it, we know it's going to be successful for everyone in the industry. In fact, I believe it to be successful for the whole world. Because in a lot of other countries, they don't have MLS. 
They have no way of networking. But there are 7 billion phones in the world. More phones on the planet Earth than there are people on the planet Earth. So they're all connecting in with their phones. They could end up using this service to network in their country, no matter where they are in the world. But for now, we're growing slowly. And maybe someday somebody with big money, they can come up here and really kick it up a notch real faster. Facebook could do it. LinkedIn could do it. Uh, Twitter could do it. Anyways, I'm not going to cover this right now. And the reason is, is that we don't have enough time. But I want to show you the kinds of things that you can learn through the education programs on this society of real estate brokers and salespeople. These are some of the useful apps that we use on a regular basis. One of them is Evernote. It can capture every one of your thoughts anytime you want. It's the most used program of an app on mobile phones in the world today. One of the most used apps. It's got so much power, I can't go into it. I could spend a morning for three hours going through all the things that that program right there can do. And I'm not going to get into it because I get excited and I can get off track. Today, I want to cover just what we're focused on. So I'm going to continue on. Now, I know that a lot of people are having trouble with passwords. I have about 250 passwords. They are all remembered in that one program. No matter where I am, I can search it out anytime. And I don't have issues. Even if it was something I used a year and a half ago, I can go there and bingo, it's still there. I can bring it up. I'm not suggesting that you have to use this program, but I am suggesting that you should have a program to keep all of your passwords. Uh, Workspace Macro Pro, <clears throat> if you're sending, let's say you're in Kijiji and you're sending people messages in Kijiji over and over and it's the same message over and over and over to some people, that thing, you can just go control and set up your own button and it'll pop all that whole paragraph in for you so you don't even have to type it again. Repetitive strokes. Magic Jack, Squirt, Skype and WhatsApp, everybody knows about those. Okay, you, may, you can just talk free, no matter what country in the world, absolutely free with WhatsApp. You can send text messages. It's just like living with your family in the next room, but they're in the next country. They're in the next continent, and it's just like they're in the next room. It's wonderful. So wonderful to keep in touch with people now. So that's what those programs do. Inman.com, um, that's for the leaders of the industry. I'm suggesting that all brokers of record, um, directors of real estate companies, Subscribe to Inman.com because they're always discussing leading edge trends, problems, issues having to do with the industry in North America. That's a great program. Find the iPhone. You better have it. Practice it. Put your phone in another room and then see if you can find it. See if you can find your phone. Okay? Because someday you might lose it and you might find that it dropped out of your pocket and you don't know where you did. It happened to me. And I went back. And I went back to the spot. I went all over. I didn't even know where my phone was. And I went down, and it was right beside the superintendent's office. Superintendent, what's it doing near a superintendent's office? And I'm tracking it. She says, somebody found it and returned it to me. That's how I got my phone. She says, are you looking for something when I walked in? She oh. <laughs> Speedtest.net. Do not click on anything on speedtest.net. Don't click on make your computer faster, quicker, better, easier. But I'm going to give some quick figures. If you have less than these figures, your computer and your internet, your browser, your computer, something is too slow. The minimum basic recommendation is 5 megabytes download speed, 1 megabyte upload speed. That is the poorest, lowest. Believe it or not, I'm still getting real estate people that have less speed than that. They shouldn't even be on the internet. It's ridiculously slow. You should call your internet service provider and get it fixed. And sometimes they will give you the slowest speed until you complain. But when you complain, they jack it up because they don't want to lose you to maybe somebody else. So if you're a little bit slow, you can measure it. Now, my computer that I operate with cable um, is 10 megabytes upload speed and 40 megabytes download speed. So 10 and 40, that's I'm happy with that. I know some people have got the odd bit faster, but believe me, it does everything I want with 10 and 40. And tell you the truth, if I had five and one, I couldn't live with it anymore. I need to be able to click, have something come up. Click, have something come up. Time is money. If you have to sit there and wait, it's costing yourself money. And 
The worst comes to worst, spend an extra 10 bucks a month and get the faster speed. Computers are down. You can buy computers now, laptops. I'm buying extra laptops around our office for $300. And the reason I buy them for $300 is they're i7s, which are fast. And they're going to be out of date in about a year or two anyway, so why buy a $1,000 one when I can get a one that's going to last a year or two anyway, so a i7 is pretty good. <clears throat> Snipping tool in Windows to copy anything. Just go to your main screen, type in snippet. Any questions you have on some of this stuff, you can call us at another time, but you cannot call us on the phone. We suggest you have to make an appointment with us. If you ever want an appointment with us, either for a demonstration or anything, what you do is you go to the website, icaiworld.com, and I'm going to show it to you. And right at the very top, you're going to see make an appointment. Don't even call us. Just click on make an appointment. If you want to talk about anything, you click on 60 minutes, even if it's a 5 or 10 or 20 minute thing, click on it. You can just go and pick a day that you want, and then you'll see that there's three times available on that day. You just click on your time that you want, and then click on confirm. You put in your name, email, and a phone number, and then 10 minutes before your time, you come over here on webinars workshop and click on that. And when you do, we will be connected by the internet in your office over the phone, over the internet. And we'll be talking through the internet or through the phone, whichever is more convenient and better at the time. And that's how we do our one-on-one -on -one training with every single one. We'll get you started. One-on-one -on -one training is the best because we used to do it in a group. But some people, it was too fast and they couldn't understand it. Some people were too slow and they just couldn't sit there and wait while we had to explain something simple. Now we do all the training one-on-one, one-on-one, -on -one, in your office, over the phone. If we don't finish, make another appointment in another week. No problem. We start at 7 a.m. in the morning and um, go till 4 o'clock each day. And we actually do Saturdays and two hours on a Sunday and a Thursday evenings, too, if we have to, to try to accommodate everybody. So the training is there to make sure that you're engaged to do this. Now let's continue on. <clears throat> Uh, Realtor websites, if you don't have Realtor.ca, either on your, uh, we suggest that you have it on your iPad or on your, uh, keep for, uh, not netbook, uh, what do you call it, uh, what do you call these things, I keep, geez, you know something, all these years I still can't remember it, so it's kind of, a, what do you call this? Tablet, 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 geez, I keep forgetting, I can't remember the word tablet, I don't know why, it's just one of those things, blocks me out. Anyways, um, this is really wonderful because if you have Realtor.ca on it, and let's say you stop in front of a house, because you're not going to do this while you're driving. You can put it up realtor.ca, pull up all the houses in the area, click on the button, and if the customer is in your car and they're interested in that house, and they don't want to see another house until they see that one, you pull it up here and you find out it's $200,000 more than what they can afford. You can rule it out right away if you have the tablet. You know? And then if you bump into a house you haven't seen, put it on here. Maybe it was just put on the internet and you haven't seen it. So having this handy, provide service to you and your customers. And really, the bottom line in this business is service. We're really not selling. We're selling service, really, when you think about it. So we think it's good. I don't know. Some people had a tablet I saw here earlier. This is really good to kind of have. And they're as little as some of them. I've seen them from $50 to three, dollars $400. You don't have to buy a $1,000 one. The cheap one is faster than anything we had years ago. You know, so don't worry about uh, you know, having to spend a lot of money on these things. Get something working for you that you plugged into the tools. Make fifty, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand bucks, and then if you want to buy a fancy one, away you go. <clears throat> so those are some of the other programs you can use. I'm not going to go into them. Um, the top commercial real estate apps. Uh, the majority of people here today are uh, residential, so I'm going to just talk about residential. Um, but there's some of the commercial apps that a lot of the commercial brokers are using. <clears throat> Saving keystrokes for the rest of your life. I'm going to show you one way to save keystrokes. Watch this. I'm going to close this program and I'm going to reopen it. And I happen to have these, this favorites bar set up. Every single person should have a favorites bar. If you don't have it and you're having to type in your top 10 favorite websites every day, shame on you because it's so easy. All you have to do is click on this or click on any one of these things. Now, I happen to have a whole list of websites right here because I'm in a home life real estate office, and I'm going to actually open 10 websites all of a sudden 
all at once, bingo, 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 you're going to see them all opening up there, all up at the top. All those websites are instantly opened just by using the favorites bar. You should never have to type in any one of your favorite websites ever again for the rest of your life using the favorites bar. And everybody has it. If you need a hand, just give us a call. Okay, next. <clears throat> those are some of the other websites by real estate people that have those widgets. You see here they have a residential and commercial button that we're recommending that you have on your website. And there it is. Residential has and wants, mostly exclusive. So that's how it can look like on your website. And then, how does it look? Well, if somebody click on, let's say, residential haves and wants, up comes this widget, the same as the one that you have on your phone. Now, if somebody wants to click on, uh, say, choose a, a city, and I'm just going to choose Canada, <clears throat> Ontario, I'm going to stop at the GTA for the moment, and I'm just going to choose, say, sort them by price. And in this case, I might just search the haves, haves of the properties for sale, and I'm going to click on search database and sort them by price. So there they are. There's properties coming up, stunning two-story home. Now, here's the big deal. Somebody someday is going to be on your website. They're going to try to click on that. And when they can't click on it, they only have one choice, and that's to call you. If it's a $2 million property, you hop in the car and you go show that. What's the commission? $50,000 maybe? Something like that? Who knows? The point uh, is... I have a question. Sure. Uh, somebody calls you for an exclusive listing and you call the agent who yes. listed it. Yes. And they tell you, I don't want to share commission. Well, let's talk about it. If, if there's no commission dollars on the other side for you, where else can you get your commission? By the buyer. From the buyer. Okay, now I notice a lot of people... Um, some are very knowledgeable about this, about getting a, a virus to pay you your commission. This is not a forum today to discuss that. If you want, you ask your broker, have me come back in, and we can talk about how to really talk to your buyer. If this is the one property, and let's say it's a $2,100,000 property, okay? You know something? If it's not worth $2.1 million, I don't even know if you should buy it for $2 million if you don't think it's worth $2.1 you should never let a commission stand in the way of a sale of a property. Do you agree or disagree? I know some customers will always try to shave you because they want to cut everything down. And there's a whole story on how to justify your commissions, but I don't want to go into that right now. Those are wonderful questions, but quickly, one way to do it is from the buyer. But most of the time, the buyer, they don't want to pay the commission. I know, I know. Well, then what happens is they don't see the property. In other words, if it's, a let's say, an apartment building or a house, it could be the home of their dreams. What's the difference of whether they buy it for 2.1 and the owner pays a $100,000 commission, 50 to the selling, 50 to the listing broker, right. or they buy it for 2 million and give you $50,000 or 100,000. In other words, it's the same thing. It's up to you to kind of convince them. But I have a question for you. When you go on a list, in fact, this is for everyone. When you go on a listing presentation, what's the longest that you've ever spent on a listing presentation? I know you've tried hard sometimes. You spent one. Everybody spent at least one hour here. <clears throat> More than that, two hours. <clears throat> sometimes you have to go in many times. Many times, yeah. two and three and four hours total. Here's the next question: How long have you tried to get a buyer to pay you your commission? Has anybody spent more than five minutes? There you go. Yeah. So in other words, there's a whole presentation on how to get the buyers to do it but we haven't been doing it. And I'm suggesting it's something to think about, that there's a whole presentation on that. In fact, with Gary Klassen, a wonderful uh, teacher, instructor, uh, coach, uh, he does a program on that. I'm going to be talking to him about getting a buyer broker's presentation for everyone on the network to teach them how to try to get more buyers to pay the commission. <clears throat> Go ahead. Even nowadays, the buyers ask the commission, whatever commission you receive from the seller side, yeah. even they bargain, they ask uh, how much you can keep the commission for that. So oh, yeah. you can ask the buyer, yeah. you know, keep the commission for that. The one nice thing about this, this is exclusive, and you've got it. They right. can't get the other broker. They have to go through you, okay? So keep that in mind. And that's the, the one big thing, is that if you control the listing, and you've got an exclusive listing, you're not going to cooperate with it. You just want to, you're going to be in control, put it that way, you know.
Okay, let's let's move on. Now you can do a referral if somebody calls you on one of these. That's another thing that you can also do. But I wanted to show you how the listings show up on Marsha, who's a, a home life agent, how the listings show up on her website for residential. We go to commercial. Now here's a beautiful thing. If you go down her website, the commercial is working. You can see the little sign working way up there. Let's say somebody is interested in an apartment building. You see where it says halves apartment buildings there? I'm going to click on it. There are over 400 apartment buildings. Would you like to have over 400 apartment buildings on your website? Interesting, eh? So, and if somebody calls you on one of these, you might not want to be selling it yourself if you don't feel competent to do it. You can call the other broker and say, I have a lead for you. Is a 25% referral commission okay with you? What else do you have on this website? Well, you have things like uh, keyword searching. In this case, of commercial hotels, motels, gas stations. How about power of sales? Would you like to have power of sales on your website? Sure. You get one call off of that, bingo, you can make some money or get a client, sell them other things too. That's what it's all about is triggering leads. If you have this on your website and you're not getting calls, I suggest it's traffic and you've got to work on that. How do you find out? Well, you get those uh, widgets under your website. There's residential and commercial. How about FISBO listings? I'm going to click on for sale by owner. These are for sale by owners from ICI World. We actually have two databases. And if I was to click on, uh, I'll click on Markham here. These are coming in from the public. Database number one, you have to be a member to advertise on ICI Road. You all have the app or the mobile website on your phone. It's free for you to search. There's no charge. You've got the app free. You can search free. You can connect with the other brokers in there, and you can go sell properties and make money. You do not have to join ICI Road. The only time you have to join is if you want to advertise. And then if you want to advertise, it's basically $40 per month or $319 per year. But we have a special here today for you, and I'll share that with you in a moment. Okay, let's move on. Um, so those are what the widgets look like on other brokers' websites. Here's another website, and you'll see how we've suggested that they put up residential and commercial. I don't know if you can see it from back there, residential, commercial. Can you see it back there? Okay, good, because I can't tell from up here. And then there's residential, mostly exclusive, so let's click on that. Again, you know, if somebody wants a property and, you know, it doesn't matter where they want it, just haves or wants, you've got them all and just come down to the bottom and people can search. And then if they uh, want to click on that, they can't do it. They have to call you with a message number. They have no choice. And it's wonderful. It's just it helps uh, brokers do deals, and it's helping the public do deals because let me click on let me click on businesses too. Even though you're a residential broker, people have we have gas stations, hotels, motels, the whole works. You can send people if they're looking for a hotel or a motel. You tell them to go to your website and to click on hotels. Bingo! Up comes the hotels and motels on your website, and if somebody calls you on one of these, you do a referral. There they all are. So you have a very good selection that other brokers don't have. Every broker has MLS, but not every broker has exclusive. Okay, so that's just how the widgets work on your website. How much are the widgets? 16, uh, well, the widgets is a membership in ICI World. You do not have to have one of our websites. These widgets, when you join, we send you the instructions by email you forward the instructions to your website designer. And if there's any problem installing them, who can you call? I see it. You bet. Okay, good show. You make sure you do, too. <laughs> we have solutions for everything for you, okay, to help you solve and get all of this good stuff working. So I just wanted to show you quickly how some of these work. Now, where is his widgets? Oh, there it is. See how he's got the word search exclusive up there? Right there? Search exclusive. And he's got all of these exclusive listings on his website. For sale by owners, 
my haves and wants, Ontario Residential. If I click on Ontario, uh, let me click on Ontario Residential. Hang on, click on that again. And you know something? This is this is just, you know, if somebody's looking in Mississauga, they can end up clicking on Mississauga and see all these single family homes, uh, properties coming for sale. There they are there, etc. Okay, I'm going to actually close that whole menu and keep going. Let's go. Okay, security on the internet. I'm just going to believe it that uh, there's a lot of people getting in a lot of trouble, losing a lot of money, and you should mark this down. I'm going to click on security, and you're going to see that a page comes up, and there it is there. If you mark that down, I say well.com slash security, it'll tell you how to design a good password, and it'll also teach you about phishing. If you don't know what phishing is, it's almost like driving a car and not knowing what a stop sign is. You've got to know those things. On this page, it'll tell you all a lot of problems that are happening on the internet. Most of you are aware of these problems, I know already, but the people that are doing these things, do you think they're getting smarter? Yeah, and they're tricking us more than ever before. So you got to be even sharper, and sometimes you accidentally click on it and you say, oh my God, I shouldn't have clicked on it, you know? So you got to be really careful out there uh, for various reasons, but it's to show you that there's 1,000 Canadians a month have been, they've lost over $5.2 million. There's billions of dollars in the United States and Canada that are being lost over the internet. And I want to make sure that every one of the members on the ICI World um, Society of Real Estate Brokers and Salespeople learn about all of the problems that are on the internet. I'm not going to go through it now. That's a subject of another session. Uh, but I want to make you aware of it. Okay, let's continue on. Um, there are some of the instructors that we've had helping us over the years. In fact, Gary, if you're going to hear this again, we'd like to have a session on buyer brokers, how to get the buyers to pay for the commission. And I notice you've got a really good program on that. I'm going to call you out of retirement to come back and maybe do that. And there's my personal uh, information on the screen, so that's who I am. And uh, let me see if I've got it here. Make sure that everyone's got a card here. Hang on. Maybe you can make sure everyone gets a card back here. Just hand them off everyone. That should be enough. Okay, you're welcome to call at any time, but the best thing to do is to make an appointment. Now, as a real estate broker, I've uh, ran offices, been managers, owned franchises, so I've had a lot of experience doing this. And I know that this stuff works, and that's why I'm excited to move it forward, even though the challenges are great. And uh, I see it working on a, on a basis now, several hundred brokers, and I know it can work for the world of all the brokers in real estate worldwide. Do a lot of speaking engagements, and we invite you to uh, mention it to brokers um, within the home life franchise operations and to all real estate offices in the business. I also happen to be a CCIM. CCIM stands for Certified Commercial Investment Member. Anybody interested in uh, commercial real estate, you should join the chapter. I'm going to give you the website chapter. You should mark it down, ccimcanada.com, www.ccimcanada.com. Everyone here is writing it down. I'm going to try to bring it up on the screen. And we invite you to become a member of the chapter, CCIM Canada. Dot com. I'm going to press enter. It's also a mobile website, which is good. And uh, you'll see it come up. Now, we have speakers. We teach networking. We develop business relationships with each other. We learn before and after tax calculation of real estate. We learn market analysis. We learn all of this kind of stuff in the courses that are being put on by the CCIM. Where does CCIM come from? Well, it comes from the National Association of Realtors in Chicago in the United States on North Michigan Way. The term Realtor, which we are all Realtors, comes from the National Association of Real Estate in the United States. They license it to Canadian Real Estate Association, of which we are all members. That's where it comes from. The term CCIM also comes from the National Association of Real Estate. And it's a division of the National Association of Real Estate called the CCIM Institute. And they grant 
the professional designation CCIM for brokers and salespeople and also non-brokers. I'm talking Fortune 1000 companies take these courses to help them expand their real estate operations and to learn about investing in real estate. And we're in many countries of the world, over 20,000, I believe, designees worldwide. And we have a chapter that meets at the Toronto Real Estate Board. I've been a membership chairman there for over 10 years. And uh, this year, I've stepped down. And I'm actually uh, going to be doing some stuff with CIPS. Has anybody ever heard of that? CIPS stands for Certified International Property Specialist. It's learning the cultures of different people around the world, Asia, Pacific, Japan, just all over the world, the Caribbean, South America, and, uh, and because I want to expand the ICI world worldwide, I'm going to move over to the CIPS designation, which I hopefully I'm going to get. We, I passed the courses, but I haven't got it yet, so I'm not saying I am one, but I'm moving towards it, and uh, we're going to be introducing everyone on that too. So um, come out to some of the meetings. That's how I got started doing commercial real estate, was coming out to these meetings and learning with the courses and uh, went right out and started selling commercial real estate and started selling properties in the 20, 30 years ago for like a million dollar properties. In those days, it was a lot of money. It wasn't like just buy a house today and you need a million dollars for like a condo. Holy smokes. Anyways, uh, let's move on. Okay. Um, now, some of these other things that I'm showing on the screen, like the LinkedIn, the Facebook, and the Twitter, a lot of people say, how do you promote a website? Well, if you've got a lot of family and they're on your Facebook, you should have a fan page and you should have your website on your Facebook. And you're going to be surprised how many people in your family do not realize how many listings you have on your website. And if you have exclusive listings on your website, they're going to say, oh, you got exclusive listings? No other broker's got that. They're going to start learning that you're plugged in to the, all the buyers and you can show them buyers on your website. You can actually take them to your website and you say, do you want to see some buyers to see if you really have buyers? Watch this. I'm going to go and pull up another website just for fun. And there's a sample of another website that we supply free for one month. And then after one month, they're $1.99 per year. And you come up with the photos. A website is your office building on the internet. It's yours. This is your business. It's up to you to put in your heart, your mind, and your soul what you want on your website. And you can do it with photos. This is one of the listings that she happens to have right now. And she's put her home right on the front page of her website. She's that proud of it. And now, um, let's, let's move on here. Are there any setup charges for um, when you have a membership in the Society of ICI World for Real Estate Brokers and Salespeople, that membership, we do all of the design work for you. It's all included. Okay? That's a good question because we've had some members who have said, uh, Gary, somebody was going to charge me $800 to install the IDX link from TREB on your website. We are official installers with TREB to install the IDX link on your website so people can search the MLS from your website. Because that's good for you. You should have it. It takes a few minutes. What's that? Now, actually, it can be. you got to get the approval from them every single time. That's the way they want it. We do. And we've got literally 2,000 websites that we've installed it on. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Oh, I was going to show you the list of buyers. Watch this. If I go to residential, and I'm going to show you the residential exclusive listings here. I'm going to change the haves and wants to a want. And I'm going to go down and click on search database. And it's working. Look at all the people. And that's just the beginning. In my mind, this is just the beginning. When you can place all the wants. And when the markets turn around, one thing I've known, I've gone through three, many upturns and downturns, more than three or four over the years, because I started in 73. Um, the markets can change around. They change from a buyer's market to a seller's market, or a seller's market to a buyer's market. Maybe it's every 10 years, but it changes. So you just have to switch gears. If you can switch gears a little bit, you can work the other side of the market. 
Okay, and that's what knowing that you can have lists of buyers. Now, if you had this list of buyers, could you use this in your listing presentation? Could that be helpful? Yeah, yeah. Especially if it's not just residential, but maybe it could be a business. You should see the list of buyers for businesses, apartment buildings, shopping centers, all kinds of things, land, you name it. There's lists and lists and lists of buyers here. You print this out, show it to those people, and they say, okay, I'll give you a chance here. And then they sign the listing for you because they know you got a bunch of buyers that you can start showing. Let's move on. Okay. So that's the reason for, I also happen to be a mortgage broker, an AMP as well, uh, but I actually do not package the deals myself. I'm sort of a lead generator. Are there any mortgage brokers in the crowd? Any? No? Okay. So I have a license for a year, but I give up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hear you. You still have it or no? No, I surrendered it. Oh, you surrendered it? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, it's a competitive market, you know, out there. Let's keep going. Okay. Anybody want a copy of this please? Yeah, I could copy. use one. Thanks a lot, Sri. Thank you came you back. Much. How's your car? I was okay. You yeah, got it? Anyway. Okay, uh, very good. So you, how do you take the coffee? I'm just milk and sweetener for me. Okay. Thank you. So there's some of the other instructors that we have, and you'll see some of them are CIPS uh, members. And um, in fact, Michael Avery, he teaches the course, so he'll be coming up here again. It's really great courses. Uh, all about learning the culture and how other people do business in Japan and how they think and how they handle trust money in Brazil, what do they do, all this kind of stuff is really kind of interesting and how we apply it in our local market. San Moco, another great guy. All of these people have a big heart to teach and train and coach and I'm so uh, uh, fortunate to have relationships with them that they can be teaching what I'm doing here today. They can actually do it themselves doing what I'm doing. Okay, um, we showed you all the testimonials that are going on in the marketplace. Uh, literally, uh, everyone on this service can make money. If you're not making money, we have a special pledge. Uh, thank you so much. I, I'm going to put it over there. Oh, appreciate that. Okay, thank you oh, very much. That's okay. All right. Um, and you'll see that uh, there's literally testimonials from everyone in the industry. Don't take it lightly. That is an example. They are the trendsetters. They're the cutting edge. You know, it's realtors with technology that are doing the business you know and they're going to stay in the business for a long time because the customers respect that in you they want to be plugged in to what's going on um, why are we here well this is very exciting because of all the industries that are on the internet it's real estate that provides the highest return so you've taken time out of your busy schedule you got family at home you got people calling in and you're here tonight. Why? Because real estate provides the highest return on of investment of any service on the internet. We're right up there. Because one phone call can make you $50,000, $10,000. One showing can make you a lot of money. And if you can trigger that showing and trigger that lead where they have to call you, and then you, they want to go see the property right away because they know if they take too much time, they're going to lose it. And you're there, Johnny, on the spot. Your phones better be able to take good messages. You should be able to answer your phones. How many times I've called somebody in real estate and they don't get back for two, three, four days and there's somebody that wanted to see the property and they wonder, are they making money or not? So providing good service, you should specialize in that. Make sure your phones are sharp and they work good. The messages don't fill up, you know, sorry, but the message box is full and all that kind of stuff, you know. Check your websites. How many people have websites? They've gone blank. I can't believe it. One person, they had their website, they didn't renew their domain name. And the problem is you only get two or three emails from the domain name people and they didn't renew their domain name and then their domain name, their website goes down. Then they try to get their domain name back and they can't get it back unless you pay an extra hundred dollars and then they procrastinate and now it's let go on the internet by the registrar. Anybody can buy it and somebody else can buy your domain name. And then you try to buy it back, you try to get it back, say, that's my name. I've got it now. Well, what happens if you've got your letterhead, your envelopes, everybody you've been giving out, your email address all these years. Now, you lost it? So then you say, okay, I'll give you 100 bucks for it. And they say, nope, I want $2,000. They actually start to hold your ransom to get your own domain name back, all because you didn't register it on time. So 
yeah, we find a lot of problems with brokers because you're so busy. There's so many things to look after. But there's some important things that you got to look after, and your domain name is one of them. I suggest you put it on Auto Renew. It's one of the few things I put on Auto Renew is your domain name. Because if you miss it because you're out of the country or on a holiday, you can end up losing it and it costs you money. Now, you can do business any place in the world. How many people could or know about real estate in their home country, the original home country? How many people know about real estate there? you have any contacts for real estate in your country of heritage? Anyone? Do they have real estate people there in your country of heritage? Are there real estate people there? Yeah. You could get that real estate and put it on here. What country? Just name a country. Guyana. In Guyana. You could put some property in Guyana in here. What other countries? India. India. Okay, which, which city? Um, India, Okay, Shandigar, you could find out if there's a real estate person there that's got some real estate, just put it on here. Now, if somebody calls you, what are you going to do? You can do a referral. We're on the Internet here for all every country in the world. We get 138 countries coming in here on a regular basis. So I'm trying to open up your mind, people, to help you make more money. Okay? And next thing you know, you're going to start getting referrals back from the new you're coming this way. So it works hand in hand, right? It's all networking and helping people do business any place in the world you can do it. Now, there's the key, there's a couple of key figures there that you should think about. We're going to talk about, does anybody here go after for sale by owners? Anyone? And the reason you don't is because they always say no. And they get upset. I don't want any realtors. I don't want, I don't want. But really what they're saying is, I don't want to list it right now with you. But if you bring me in a buyer, I'll pay you a commission if you do that. But don't just come try to get a listing from me because I have some other ideas that I want to try. 90%, 91% of people eventually listed with real estate. 9% sold without an agent. This is a study by the National Association of Realtors in the United States that um, and 50% use the mobile website. This is from 2014. It's even more today. It's even more today. 92% use the internet. We know there's MLS, but they use the internet too <laughs> to search around. And 9% sold without an agent, which means 91% used an agent. So all those FISBOs that you see out there, they're all going to be sold basically by realtors. So I'm suggesting it's a good opportunity for you, and I'm going to give you three questions. And when you leave here today, they work literally 99 and 100% of the time. Okay, three special questions that you can ask those people, and it will be a breath of fresh air. People will say yes, yes, yes to you, and I'm going to show it to you. Was that a question? Yeah, what's the best way to handle that? With I'm, I'm going to actually go through it. Okay. I'm going to actually do a presentation. Okay, that's coming up. It's very exciting. Um, now, we talk about doing these seminars for, we do them for $2,000. What I'm doing here today, I do at real estate boards for $2,000 with no selling. Okay, there would not be any selling. I would not be mentioning ICI World. I'd be mentioning, you know, our service and trying to mention other services. I would not be promoting ICI World. It's strictly education. But when I do a seminar like this in an office, we do it free in, ex in consideration of me doing about a six-minute commercial on our services. Okay? And if that's okay, I'm going to do – I can do it in four minutes, even less. If that's okay, I'll do that now. Is that all right? Okay. So we handle all of this kind of information. There's over 30,000 haves and wants heading for 40,000 from brokers and salespeople like yourself. 75% are lit exclusive listings, not on real estate boards. It blows people's mind. They can't believe there's that much going on out here. And then there's things like properties coming for sale. And we have a big list, properties coming for sale. So you can find out about properties before they're on the Toronto Real Estate Board. And then once you get them listed, 
then you call your buyer back, the one that called originally, and say you can be one of the first people through the property once it's listed. And that's how that works. FISBOs, we're going to go through that, assignments, and more. Now, we have two databases. One database is database number one, where when you are a member, you post it on ICI World, and the public can read it. You need a membership for that. And it's basically $40 a month, $319 per year. But I do have a little special coming here in a moment. Database number two, we allow the public to post information free, but the only people that can read the contact information are the members. Okay? There's commercial and residential. We do both. Now, we started as a commercial service for 20 years, but a lot of the brokers we have wanted to do uh, residential as well from time to time. And so we've opened it up to residential about three years ago, and it's just taken off. Everybody really likes it. And what's surprising is 50% of the residential on I say well is actually exclusive. <laughs> it's, it's amazing how much more exclusive. And part of the reason is a lot of people want to do for sale by owners, and we're going to show you. We're calling that exclusive as well. Monthly subscribers, we've got a lot. Monthly readership, it's there. Members delivered 20,000. When you put a listing yourself on ICI World, we show you how to type it in and do it yourself. It's almost just like a classified ad on a newspaper. You put it on here. First things first, it gets delivered out to the industry. 20,000 emails going out a day. Secondly, it's on over 2,000 other brokers' websites if you want it to. In other words, you can agree to allow your listings to be on other brokers' websites. You've got to answer yes or no, every single listing. And then the third thing, it's on over 18,000 places on the Internet that we've built up over the years. And the readership on that is between 30 and 40,000 IP addresses. That's how we measure. We don't know the number of people. Nobody can really do it. But behind that computer is an IP address. So if we get 30 to 40,000 IP addresses, we figure, you know, uh, it's the number of people coming through, and that's been increasing. The apps that you're seeing here have gone from 0 to 8,000 users last year. We think it's going to double to 16,000 this year. There's over 18,000 pages on the Internet, 2 million hits a month. People are coming in from 138 countries of the world on a regular basis, and we have dedicated server doing this. We're not sharing this with anybody else. We have our own server our own server box to serve our industry. Um, some of the advertising we do and presentations, we've done real estate presentations on all real estate boards and real estate offices throughout Ontario, Canada, the United States, Vancouver, Fort Lauderdale, you know, just literally Collingwood, just all over the place we're doing seminars sharing the information like this. Same thing, Brampton Real Estate Board, you can see our advertising kind of going up there as well. And then we have one of the busiest booths at uh, trade shows. Again, that's part of the reason is our, um, just one of the busiest booths at the whole show. And uh, I'm trying to get all our members. Uh, we love saying hello at them, and we encourage them all to come by. And maybe that's one of the reasons why we're busy, too. We love it that way. Just love it. Couldn't ask for anything better. And uh, other advertising, we're on the front page. Okay, let me show you here why this is important and how it's making money. Because if you don't know it, you don't know the effort that's going in to kind of help all this stuff. You ever know. And oopsie daisy, that was probably the sound. So if you were at home, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, that was just the speaker dropping. But you'll see the front page ad, I see I will. We, we have a contract. That means that if anybody sees that ad, they go to ICA World and they see your listing. They call you up and you go sell house because of that, because of what we're doing. Look at this newspaper publication. We're up there at the top. Somebody sees that ad, they go to ICA World and they see your listing. You go sell something. It's because of maybe the ad. So in other words, we've got a contract with us. We just signed them recently. These are contracts for the front page to trigger. You wonder where we're getting advertising and track uh, traffic. Well, there's 300. These people tell me there's three to 400,000 readership is what they're telling me. So that's good penetration of the marketplace 
belly to belly out there, separate from what we're doing on the internet, which is another story. And then in addition to that, um, there's also the major publication, and uh, is that REM? Oh, there it is. Everybody knows what this, does anybody know what this is? What is it? Huh? Real Estate Marketing Magazine. Real Estate Marketing Magazine, yep. You know who publishes it? It goes to all the real estate offices in Canada. About 100,000 people is what they try to reach across Canada. It's made for real estate. And there's one of our ads. We've been in here for the last 10 years. This might be the first time you've ever seen it, though, sadly. <laughs> but you walk by it, it's right in the front door every day. It's right there. We've been there for 10 years. <laughs> and then all of these publications were right on the front. And these are the publications that are right in your front office, right? People are picking these up and they, and they read these things. Okay, what else we got here? Um, for some reason that's not going. Let's try it. Okay. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, let's just click. Anyways. Okay, let's move on from these publications, advertising, everything, Google, and all that kind of stuff. The widgets we've already shown you. Now, we're going to cover, just before we cover how to work exclusive information, uh, the special that we have for you today, I'm going to share that with you right now. Um, the special is two, it's normally $319 for one year, and we're doing it for $240 here for one year with a credit card. Okay. Can you be signed right now? That's yes, you can sign right now if you want. Okay, so are you interested? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Is there anyone that is interested right now? I want to think about it, but I am interested. Okay. Yeah. Well, the first person that does, I have something a little for you. It is interesting. Anyways. What it is, is the first person that joins gets an extra month free. Mm -hmm. okay. So you get 13 months? You get 13 months. If there's a second person like you, <laughs> We're going to give you, months, we're going to give you 14 months. <laughs> so I'll go last then. <laughs> <laughs> He's smart. Boy, he catches on real fast. <laughs> but when I give you 14, mm -hmm. I also give you 14. Mm -hmm. I'll sign right No, no, 14. You're getting 14. He's, he joins. So that's one for you. You get 13. And he's going to get 14, but you're going to get 14 as well. If someone else joins, you all get 15. That's a deal. You're giving me 15 out of sign right now. We need one more person to join, that's all. Come on, guys, care for it. Here. We get, if we get 15, if we get one more, we get 16. So that's uh, 15 months for 240, yes? 15 months for 240, but if we get other people joining here, yes. I can keep adding a month on for each person. The choice. To a maximum of 18, okay? Has everybody got a copy of this? Yeah. Okay. On this particular sheet of paper, what we've handed out for the people at home is um, if you, is there anybody online that's thinking of joining from what we've done? I'm just going to, you can type it in the go to meeting control panel. Uh, what we're doing is we're giving one year for 240 to join the service. But when the first person joined and uh, we're giving an extra month, which is 13 months, someone else has joined, that's 14 months. And then someone else joins, it's 15 months. So the maximum is 18 months. If there's anybody at home that's interested in joining, you can type it in the chat window and say, I am interested. And if you are interested, that adds to what we've got here towards giving everybody the maximum of 18 months, which is I'm trying to do here. So I'm working hard to try to work for you. In other words, I'm asking you to hire me for in our service, the, uh, the basic society of our real estate salespeople here for 240 for 18 months to have you join. Okay, and I'm going to try to get at least six people joining here so that we can really get you the total. We're going to get 18 months going here. When do you say yeah, same place? Pardon me? When do you say place? For the training? Yeah. We do the training over the internet by appointment. Oh, okay. okay you're going to go to icrworld.com and you're going to click on it. In fact, everybody bring up their phone right now. Bring up the app if you don't mind. Bring up the app on your phone right now, please. 
I need to show you how to do this because I want to cut everybody's phone down, the number of phone calls you have to make. All right? Now, where, when you see the CN Tower, at the tip of the CN Tower, does it say make an appointment? So you make this one, yeah? Uh, no, go back. Go to the main page. Do you see the CN Tower there? Oh, click, oh, oh, I want everybody to click on make an appointment, please. Okay. Everybody click on make an appointment. It's right at the tip of the CN Tower. You see, see where it is right there? Right there. Right there in blue. Mm -hmm. Go back. you got to go back a page. Go back to your main screen. Let's go, go, go down the main screen. Okay. okay. Where is it? Where did it go? Okay, I'll help you with that before you leave. Okay. But you see, you see where it says make an appointment? Right. Click on it. Everybody click on it. Did you click on it? You see how easy it is to make an appointment? Yep. Good job. Okay? You don't even call us. We're like a doctor's office. You know something? I think about the dentist. So he's got to go every hour on the hour working in somebody's mouth. I couldn't do it. And then doctors, they have people that are coming in, they got diseases and they're bringing all kinds of problems. I wouldn't I couldn't do that either. Me, I'm sitting in a nice comfortable spot in my office. I have a home office and I have a business office. And I'm very comfortable. And I'm doing appointments every hour on the hour, just like a doctor. And it's very nice because I'm enjoying doing it all day long. And it just works out good. I work out my regular schedule. You know, try to eat good and do it all. So that's how the sessions are conducted. In your office over the phone. You make an appointment, just bring all your questions, and that's how it's handled. Is that any charge for this? No. no. That's all included. And people say, how can you do it when you have a 1,000 members? Because once you have your first orientation, you're good to go. You just, there's only two things you do. There's only two things you do when you're on ICI World. I'll show you what they are and how, how nice it is. Watch this. I'm going to bring up the main website right here. And there's only two things you're going to do. One of them is search, but you're going to do that on your phone most of the time. If you want to do it here, you click on search, which I just did. You can choose commercial or residential. I'll choose residential. You come here, and then you can go right down here, and you can pick your city. And how fast can you do it? I'm showing you in real time now, Greater Toronto, and if you're strictly working Markham area, you come up here and choose Markham, and you click on search database, and bingo, there they are coming in. You choose, you check the latest listings coming in once every two or three days. If I was to click on this first listing right here, the date on that listing, there it is there. It's May 15th was the last one. Okay? It's going to, there's people that are reading all of this stuff all the time, and it's looking for you, you advertise your listings, you're going to be getting calls. So that's searching from time to time, and you can do, the searching the commercial or the residential. If I did the commercial, clicked on that one, and I did mark them again, same thing, haves and wants, and I choose down here to Ontario and then Greater Toronto, and then do mark them again, and then do a search. Bingo, there they are. And if I click on uh, these ones here, wanted retail plaza, blank, 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 there's a buyer for plazas, for instance. Where's the date on this one? There it is. May 25th. Just came in today. Okay, so that's how important and good the information is. It's they, they literally are coming in daily. All right. So that's how the that's one thing you're going to be doing is searching from time to time, mostly on your phone. The second thing you're going to be doing, so there's basically only two things you're doing. And the second thing you're going to do is click on this member login that's over here. And then on the left-hand side, you're going to log in up here. There's your information for your personal record. But then you're going to click on add have want. And I'm going to add, I'm just going to go ahead and log into site. Oopsie daisy. My login wasn't right. So let's just, let's just get it going here. And I'll show you how fast, quick, and easy this is. If I can remember my uh, password. 
Okay, let's try it. And I usually suggest that you remember it for one month. That way you don't have to log in every time. Log into the site. Update the password. And then you click on Add Have One, and this is the form where you add the listing. You got something for sale? Is it anyone in this room have a listing that's coming for sale in the next one, two, three, or four months? I'm not going to put it on, but I'm going to show you how it's done. Anyway, you have a listing that's coming for sale. You have think condominium. Okay, condominium. Can we use that just for an example? Yeah. Okay, we're not going to put it on because it's my name that's going on here. I'm not going to put it on. Okay, I'm going to type in, there's someone in the room here, and I'm sure a lot of you, when you think about it, coming for sale. What city is it in? Okay, Tr Toronto. We're going to put in Toronto, North York, and it's a condo. Now, I'm going to suggest, do you know how much it's going to be approximately? I'm going to put here approximately dollar sign five five zero five fifty and the reason you say that is because you don't really know because when you get there they might want six fifty <laughs> right you never know so you can say approximately five fifty and then you come down here and you choose Canada Ontario Greater Toronto and Toronto got it and then you come down here and our category for residential is right there and then you're going to type it in again condo and then you're going to type in North York and then you're going to say 550 and then you're going to say coming for sale approximately okay that's a piece of information information is the gold that is on the internet because if you may how much is a gold bar nowadays 13, 1,230? No, how much is a gold bar? That's an ounce. But how much in a, in a bar? Anybody know? Okay, so that's an ounce, 1,200. So it's the gold on the internet is the, the money you make from real estate. You could be buying gold if you wanted to. Anyways, we end up copying that and pasting it into this comments area. And then we actually do something special. We add a link to the city of Toronto to help to sell the city of Toronto to the world. Don't worry about that. We'll show you how that's done. And here's the key. This little spot here where if it's not MLS, you can choose one of these other choices. You could choose exclusive. In this particular case, is this a friend of yours, a regular client, somebody that you know? Yeah, I know someone, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to suggest that you would use regular client. All right, this is a regular client of yours, somebody that you know. You would choose regular client. And then the last question on the screen says, will you allow your listings to be advertised on other brokers' websites? Once you get it listed, would you work with another broker if they brought in a buyer? Then I would leave it on yes. This listing, 20,000 emails will be going out tomorrow if we put that on right now. It'll also be on 2,000 other brokers' websites, and I showed you the widgets on all these other brokers' websites. <laughs> Plus, it's going to be on ICI World Searchable from mobile services and computers and everything around the world. And to show you what the listings look like when they go in, I'm going to click on this button over here on the left that says Latest World Residential. Can you see that? So I'm not putting it in but I'm clicking on Latest World Residential to see the other listings that were just put in. And if I was to click on maybe the first one just for fun, I click on it. This one happens to be MLS. This is all about Mississauga, helps to sell the city of Mississauga to the world. I clicked on it and I don't know what's happening with the internet. Let me try this one. There's a little glitch there. That's not our service. That's their service. Let me go back to uh, latest world residential and click on maybe Willowdale and Thornhill. Exclusive building lots available. There they are. There's the broker. You can give them a call. There's a bunch of building lots. These are not on MLS. Interesting, eh? 
So those are the kind of things how it looks like coming for sale. Oh, this one's in Florida. New York. Oh, that was latest USA that I clicked on. Pardon me. Let's go back to latest world residential just for fun. So you'll see properties coming in on a regular basis. If I clicked on that, bingo, there they are. Okay, so adding listings from time to time, that's it. And searching from time to time. Those are the main things you'll be doing, which basically what you're doing is getting your information that you know about working on the internet 24 hours a day. You're letting your information do all the work on the internet while you're doing other things. And you're doing it with your exclusive information that you can't do right now. And learning how to do that, there's a lot of money to be made. Okay, now we're going to cover how do you work this exclusive information. We're going to cover that now. Okay, so there's a lot of exclusive information. Basically, anybody that ever says, I want to sell my property, but I don't want to give you a listing, you will now be able to do something to help them for the rest of your life. This service started out of a book by Bill Gates called at the speed of thought. If you can take a thought out of your brain and then put it on the internet and somebody else can see it, you can get the call in real estate. You have a thought coming for sale. Every listing is a thought before you list it. <laughs> I think I'm getting a listing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting it for sure, but I think I am. It's a thought. So you take that thought and put it out there, you can be triggering buyers for this office that you've never had before. Now, when somebody calls you, what's the first thing you're going to ask you? Sorry? And, uh, Let's say you, this property that we've got coming for sale, where was it in uh, North York oh, uh, for 600000 or something? The first thing they're going to ask you is what? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What's the address? I'd like to drive by it. And if I like it, I'll call you back. Okay? Do you give them the address? No. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to go over with Rico why you don't give it. Give it to them. And I'm going to show you how to handle that question right now. All the opportunities from builders, all kinds of people. There's a lot of people don't want to put their houses on the internet. They don't want all the beautiful belongings inside their house to be all over the internet for everybody to see. They want it done more exclusively. A lot of developers, they don't want to tie up their their building with you and they've got other three or four other deals on the go. But they'll give you a chance to bring you in a buy. Bring me a buyer, I'll pay you a commission. You bring me my price. But all of these are opportunities of exclusive type that you can't work on a real estate board. There it is, people. I'm going to suggest that you get your cameras out. You take a picture of these three questions. They can make. I have brokers now that have made over one million dollars on ICI World. There's the three questions that can help you make money for the rest of your life. And you talk to a FISBO, and let's pretend somebody has a FISBO opportunity. You go up to them and you ask the question. The first one: Will you pay me a commission? If I bring you a buyer, does anybody have a problem with that question? No. no, nobody does. It says, if I bring you a buyer. If you go up to them and say, will you pay me a commission and give me a listing right now? What are they going to say? Get out of here. <laughs> right? They don't want to deal with it. They want to try it themselves. Does this ask them for the listing on the spot? The first question. Does it ask for the listing on the spot? I got two no's. Do I get any yeses? What do you say? I'm asking the question. Does the first question ask? They've already said no. I don't want to list it. I don't want to list it with you. But basically, you are for this. What's that? Basically, you have it, and they tell you that you can have permission. That's right. They're giving you an opportunity. Right? Yeah. That's really what they're doing. 
But most real estate people going up to a fishbowl, what are they trying to do? They're trying to get the listing. And it's browning off that owner. They're fed up with it. Now, if you can get the listing signed, you don't have to do this. But if you cannot get the listing signed, you ask that question. Okay, let's move on to the second question. You ask the person, will you give me a 48-hour exclusive listing to show the property when? Once I have a buyer. You're not asking for it. I have people and I say, well, did I give you my pledge before? Everybody makes money every 90 days or triggers leads every 90 days or you give us a call. You're missing something. Maybe you don't have the widgets on your website. Maybe you're not. Broker called me up and said, Gary, I'm not making any money. I said, okay. What's the three questions? He says, well, I was asking people for a 48-hour exclusive listing and they wouldn't give it to me. Is that the second question? Here he is. Yeah, that's the first question. Sorry? The first question, but he was asking somebody for a 48-hour exclusive listing. That was his question. He was trying to get a 48-hour exclusive listing to sell a property. Is that the second question? There's the second question. What's that say? Once I have a buyer, oh geez, if we had to just ask that, once I have a buyer, once I have a buyer, would you sign a 48-hour exclusive listing so I can show the property? Because really, you should not show the property unless you have a listing to cover your showing. Do you all agree? Mr. Broker of Record, there you go. I work with a lot of brokers of record. You really shouldn't show a property without having an agreement in place first. Do you all agree? If you don't have an agreement in place, what can they do? They can go around behind your back and go buy it direct. And you don't make any money. Right? So the key words, this we did this for one year without putting those words in red. And uh, once we put them in red, all of a sudden people started to understand them. Third question. You ask for permission to advertise their property, but you're going to do it without the address. Okay? Every physical will say, you're going to advertise my property for free? Try to sell it? Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. <laughs> Bring me a buyer. <laughs> But I don't want to give you a list. So where can you put this information once you have those three S's? Yeah. You put it on the largest national database of exclusive information in Canada. It's ICI World. And why did we say we're going to do it without the address? Here's the reason why. According to RICO, a registrant shall not include anything in an advertisement that can reasonably be used to identify, and that's the key word, identify specific real estate unless the owner of real estate has consented in writing. In other words, you're not even allowed to give an address of a property unless you have the consent of the owner in writing. So when you advertise the property on ICI World, coming for sale, $600,000 North York, the person that calls you, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to ask you for the address. They want to drive by. Are you going to give it to them? No. Good. So you can make a statement, something like this. In this particular case, coming for sale, we have to put an agreement in place first. Now, in your case, you can tell them I might be getting the listing in a boat in the, in the, the end of June, beginning of July. Once I get the listing signed, I'm going to put your name on a list. 
And once I get the listing signed, I will call you back. And if you're still looking for a home, you can be one of the first people through the property. How does that sound? Got it? A lot of money to be made here, people. You can be triggering leads on information. You see, the Internet is powerful. It's got three and a half billion people are on the Internet. But marketing is a lot like fishing. If you don't have a line in the water, you have no chance to catch a fish. So I'm going to ask you all a question. Is there anybody in this room that has more than five listings on the Toronto Real Estate Board? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm getting at, this is normal. This is common all over North America. I, if I do a seminar any place from Vancouver to Montreal, the, the average real estate salesperson has less than five listings on a real estate board. They have zero, one, two, or three, something like that. That's it. That means everybody's almost out of business. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. You're instantly in business because you're going to have widgets on your website full of listings on your website. You're in business. Brand new people, it's the best. We never had this when we started. We never had a website that had thousands of listings and say, I've got all kinds of properties, commercial, residential, apartment buildings, residential homes all over the, all over the GTA. I got them on all of Ontario. You know, you never had that. We never had that. Now you have it. So, somebody calls you, and by the way, in Lake Tahoe, this is where one of the, this came from an idea from there, in Lake Tahoe, all those movie star properties, you can go skiing at the top and go swimming at the bottom on the same day. Beautiful area country. A lot of the movie star properties, they're being sold this way. Exclusive. <coughs> now, if somebody calls you on it, if it's available and it's exclusive, you can give the, the property uh, address to someone. But let's say that they agreed that um, you could call them up, the one that's coming for sale. And then you said, listen, could I show it this Saturday to someone? And if they agree, you better put a 48-hour exclusive listing in place to cover your showing. And you do that on the Friday, the day before Saturday. So in other words, even though we have 30,000 listings, it doesn't mean that we don't put an agreement in place first before showing the property or before divulging information on that property. Any questions? We're going to give you a little test now. Okay? See if you got this. Coming for sale, we're talking about the same thing. Okay? But if it's okay with you, I'll put you on a list. And by the way, this is recorded, so you can see this recording at a later date. Okay, it's going to be on our YouTube channel. And we'll send a copy at just three as well, so that you can, you can see it later. Now, this very first one, Mississauga Restaurant, 350000 making money. Does that give the property away, that first ad? Can you tell which restaurant it is? If I said that the restaurant was at the corner of... Uh, Dundas and Huron, Ontario. Am I giving it away? How many people say no? How many people say yes? How many people don't know? That's right. There's only a couple of restaurants at the corner. There might only be three restaurants there. So if you if you gave them the corner, somebody could go there. Talk to those three owners within a half an hour, figure out which one's for sale, and they could buy it direct. And if the commission is 10%, which a lot of businesses are 10%, $35,000, that $35,000 can put your kids through school. You can buy a car. It can help you travel around the world. And if you say too much with your loose tongue, you're giving it away. This is exclusive information society. We're teaching how to control. Doctors, they have exclusive information. Lawyers, they have exclusive information. 
Realtors, we've got exclusive information right here. I'm showing you how to do it. Okay. I have a question. Sorry. Question. Uh, the hotels and motels. Hotels and motels. Uh, the ones that they do the listing for four million to twenty-five million. What kinds yeah. of property commissions? Uh, commissions. I don't get into commissions. I don't get into commission agreements. I since the beginning, because I've been in the business a long time, I stay out of it because I don't have anything to do with it because it could open up a can of worms. However, we have hotel people that deal on the service. You should talk with them. Okay, so we're going to introduce you to people until you get your answer. If you don't get your answer, I'll go talk to them with you and we'll talk to them together. Okay, so I will help you that way. Um, we had like a $75 million office building sold. Actually, it was $50 million, the issue was 200000 So it doesn't go like 6%, 5%, 4%. It could be just 200000 bucks. Would you be happy $200,000 to make a sale? <laughs> huh? Okay, so sometimes it's like that. It depends sometimes on the work you're doing, too. We had a guy in Vancouver. He was worked on something for like a year and a half, and that was his whole project. He's got to make 150000 200000 at least something. You know? Toronto Triplex, 750 Does that give it away? Sorry? No. Good. If I said it was uh, at Blur and Ossington next to the Pizza Pizza, am I giving it away? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go. So most most owners of properties will give you permission to advertise this way. If it's a restaurant owner and you ask him for a listing, he doesn't want to give you a listing. He says, bring me a buyer, I'll pay you a commission. Or do you, how are you going to get a buyer for a restaurant? How are you going to do it? Well, you can put it on ICL, well, so you write them a copy of the ad. Restaurant, you know, in the North York area, making money, 350000 That's it. You And then you give that owner a copy of the ad. And then you say, well, if that's what you need to get me a buyer, go ahead. I agree. You get it verbally from them. You try to get it in writing if you can. Question. But if you take the clients to view the property, you're not going to view the property unless you put an agreement in place first. Yeah, but Once you have a buyer who's interested, right, you're going to tell them that I have to put an agreement in place first. Oops. I clicked on some buttons I shouldn't have clicked on. Uh, you have to put an agreement in place first. Okay, so if somebody calls you and they ask you the address of the restaurant, you're going to say, well, in this particular case, we have to put an agreement in place first, but if you like, I'll try to show it to you on Saturday. You come to my office, and I'll make arrangements for you to see it. And then what do you do on Friday, the day before the appointment? You go talk to the owner of the restaurant, you get yourself a 48-hour exclusive listing. Big money. You can be making big money. You get one showing on something like that and they like it, next thing you know, you make a good money. Now, yes, sir. I have to run to an appointment. I just want to ask a question before you go. Sure. Um, so the membership for this, uh, for the monthly, uh, is that different from the rigid 16 dollars That's included. The, that's included. Oh, the website is $16.50. So let me show you something here. I'm going to show you the, the, this. Thing. I'm just going to hold it up. Look at the third bullet. Can somebody turn the lights on? Uh, if you could turn the lights on, the third bullet from the top on the application, it says websites are free for one month, and then they're one ninety nine per year. That works out to sixteen dollars and fifty cents. But if you already have a website, mm -hmm. that's included in the two forty for your yearly. Oh, month. okay. Okay. So the widgets are included. So you're coming aboard. Yeah. Okay. I, I, so I'm gonna. How many people here are interested? Is a particular sales sheet for the website? No. Is that what it says there? I'm doing it included in your membership. Okay, I'm including that in your membership. Yes. It's two I'm gonna do two forty for basically eighteen months for anybody here tonight that's joining. Okay? So that's a special for you. Compliments of your broker, because your broker is already a member. And eighteen months so that'd be like Eighteen After months from today, from today yeah. right? And After then at that. the end of eighteen months, if you want to keep advertising, it's three nineteen per year. But you better be making money within the next three to six right. months, okay? And if you're not making money, who do you call? 
Yeah. You better go. You better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So it's a uh, two forty for our What you do there. is, if you have a credit card, I can swipe it, or you just mark your credit card down at the bottom. Staple your business card to that form, <laughs> and you can leave it with me. There's a stapler if you need it. You staple your business card to that form. And that special is available here. If you want to join after today, it would be 240 for one year, and you use Siri as the sponsor. Here's how it works. At the end of one year, everyone's membership is 319 but if you sponsor a member, say you get someone else to join, you can rejoin for 240. We reduce the membership to 240 if you sponsor someone. And the new person joining can join for 240 for one year if they mention your name. So if you the get, membership plus, then plus the website is the extra 60. The website hosting is separate. And that's free for one month and then 1650. The design of the website is included in your membership. That's worth eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars, believe me. <laughs> I've had people pay that too, and that's what they tell me. I wanted to show you this other uh, does that give it away? When I say Lindsay Esso gas station, does that give it away? How many people say yes? How many people say no? How many people don't know? Yes. You say yes? You're saying yes or no. Lindsay gas station. Does that give it away? Yes or no? Yes. You're saying yes? Yes. yes. How many people say no? There are more than one gas station. Yes, 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 yes. So you would say no? Yeah. Okay, so I got some yeses, I got some, some no's. Yeah. The, the yeses have it, and the reason is there's only one gas station in Lindsay that's S. <laughs> okay, now, the reason I give that is to teach you. When you have a piece of information and it's not listed, you have to guard your information. You have to be smart. Okay? Some people never made money because somebody calls them up, they give the address. They give the address. You can't do that. That's not wise. That's not smart. You have a family, uh, a, a, a family to support. How about this one? Brantford, thirty million dollar shopping center. Does that give it away? Yes or no? Yes. Why? There's only one. Good show. Oh, everybody's learning. I'm so happy. Good show. Now, how about this one? Peterborough Retail Plaza, five hundred thousand. That's probably okay because there's lots of it, right? Okay, you got it? Okay, so I'm winding down. We're finished. We're completing this. And I'm going to ask everyone to fill in one form before you go. And it's just a little feedback form here. Um, here it is. This is a, called an evaluation form. In consideration of me taking my time coming here for you, if you don't mind just filling out this little piece of paper, it's just a little evaluation, it takes about one minute. I really appreciate your comments. And uh, you can leave one for you. Okay? And I'll be giving you some copies. Thank you very much for filling these out. It helps me design. You got it for your time. I'll come in and give you a couple of things. So we'll see how uh, online people are going to be giving us a feedback. Okay. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yeah.
Okay, well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. And uh, how many people are coming aboard tonight today with this session? I'm going to give whoever joins tonight 18 months. I'm giving you 18 months. Okay, good move here. <laughs> Now, for part-time people, if you know any part-time people, there's nothing better. Nothing better. Because while you're busy working on another job, your website's working for you, triggering leads, the people that you meet, you hand out your business card, you tell them go to my website, I've got exclusive listings. You know, they're going to love it. You know, everybody's got MLS listings, but not everybody has exclusive. <coughs> you're going to be meeting business owners. You tell them go, you've got commercial listings on your website. Residential listings, you got condos, stuff for new home buyers, you're gonna have it all. Just get the people go there. Once they go to your website and start seeing everything, you're gonna be the one that gets the call. And if you're part time, what you're gonna do, if somebody calls you on a listing, what are you gonna do? Somebody calls you on a message number on your website. They call you up and say, I'm on your website, by the way, I'm interested in message number, blah 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 blah. Can you help you? What are you going to say? Yes, yes, I can help you. Yes. I will have somebody call you back. And then you get on, you log into the website, and you find out who's the one, what that number belongs to. You call that broker. And you say, I have a lead for you. Is a 25% referral commission okay with you? But you can also call your broker here and do a referral to somebody else in the office to follow up with that listing. So you can be part-time. It's fabulous for part. Anybody that went and spent all the money to get a license in real estate who doesn't have a $16 just to send website working, it's stupid. It's like go on a boat, you get to the other side, you're ready to step off, and then you stand back. It's crazy. I think that's my opinion. I'm entitled to my opinion. <laughs> right? You know, you, you want to make some money, if you learn how to do this stuff. You get everybody, and then you show people. In, I'm going to give you an example. I drove a taxi for many years when I was a kid going through school. You could be, I forget where I put my phone. I don't even know where it is. Anybody see it? Uh, maybe you got to ring it for me. No, I got it. I found it. You show people, you show people your website. Oops. Here's another one. This is a home life website. Get them to search. Isn't that beautiful? All the listings. Thank you, gentlemen. If you want, I can process a credit card with uh, with this thing here. If anybody wants. And that's it for today. Now, what I'm going to do, um, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to do, uh, whoever signs up today, uh, Sri, whoever signs up today, I'm going to give them 18 months special. Oh, okay. Okay? So... And before you leave, before you leave now, I want to book an appointment with you before you leave, okay? Whoever is joining, I want to book an appointment right away. <laughs> So we'll finish off with this. This is a, a movie. I don't know if the movie's coming through, but we're going to see if that works. I wonder if I can show a movie in a different way, and I'm going to try 
Oh, I can't show a movie with this. Uh, yes, sir, chat. That has to be a webinar. I don't know if this is coming through on the video. But that completes our session for today. And give us a call at the office. And if you've seen this video and want the special, you just give us a call. I'm going to stop the recording.